<clears throat> so here's the dealio. My sister-in-law had a baby last Saturday. Um, and I haven't met the baby yet. I haven't been over there. I haven't done anything to help yet. So today I decided to bring them lunch. Um, but the thing is they're cutting out meat and eggs for, um, Lent. And I <clears throat> plan all of my meals around the protein that is in meat. So I've had to do a little bit of brainstorming on what to prepare for them. Um, but when I was in, uh, West Virginia visiting my brother last year on our way home from South Carolina, he made us these delicious hummus veggie wraps with quinoa salad. It was so good. So I texted him last night and I was like, hey, what did you put in those? And it was very simple, though he didn't have the recipe, uh, for the quinoa salad because somebody else made it. So I'm a, <laughs> I'm a little nervous to make the quinoa salad. I have the quinoa ready. I almost burnt it. Um, but I figured some salt, pepper, olive oil, a little vinegar maybe, garlic. I don't know. I figure that should taste pretty good. And I'm also nervous that I'm going to make a big mistake as an auntie and make these children, because there's seven other kids, nieces and nephews make them something that they're going to hate. So I'm, I'm taking a leap of faith here. So join along with me and I'll show you what I do to make these wraps and I'll taste test one, uh, before I officially decide that I'm going to take it over there because I'm not going to lie. I really am nervous that it's going to be disgusting and the kids are going to hate me forever <laughs> for making them these vegetarian wraps, you know, instead of just like mac and cheese. I still could make them some mac and cheese, I think. I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, here is the situation I've got going on. We've got our cucumber, red pepper, Roman tomato. I've got this romaine mix that I bought. Um, because I'm a little lazy today. I didn't really feel like buying an entire bag to chop up. Provolone cheese, not smoked. We've got our spinach wraps. And then we've got the hummus. We've got the quinoa and the feta cheese, which I think is going to add just an exquisite flavor. So Let's get started. Joe won't eat his breakfast because he thinks I'm gonna give him something. Your hair looks good, actually. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you think? Great. Really? I'll take four. I don't, I don't think your nieces and nephews are going to like. They will. I just, uh, 
Jay, try this. I know. If you're cutting out meat for any reason, these wraps seriously are the way to go. I tried my first one that I made, and it was to die for. Anywho, it was delicious, and um, I'm really hoping that my nieces and nephews are forgiving because it is, it's got feta, so it's got a bit of a tart, sour flavor to it, and you know, it's not normal, but we'll just see. Hopefully they like it. I think my three youngest nieces are probably going to be the ones who are like, what? But the older ones should be okay. <laughs> Can you tell that I care so much about what they think about me? Anyway, well, I am taking mac and cheese and I am taking chips and it's going to be delicious. But yeah, so anyway, great wrap. And I'll definitely be using it more if I don't have meat on the, in the fridge or in the freezer and I can, or I can't like afford meat or something like that because it gets expensive. Um, but veggies for the most part stay on the cheaper end as well as hummus. And plus you can make your own hummus too. And that, um, cuts costs down a lot. <clears throat> I don't budget by any means, but it's just something to think about. But yeah, yummy veggie wrap. I give it a, an A. I'm in the car now, obviously, and uh, just left my sister-in-law's house. The wraps were a hit, okay? They were received better than I thought they were. Of course, there was one child that I knew wasn't really gonna like him, and it took them forever to eat the one, <laughs> the one half of our wrap, but everyone else liked him, so. And there was also mac and cheese and chips and cantaloupe, so. Uh, overall it went well, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm headed into town. I want to get a cup of coffee. No, I'm not getting coffee. I've had my cup of coffee. I'm going to get a matcha from my place of work because that's the matcha that I like. <coughs> we have a really yummy matcha. And I'm going to do vanilla and either oat milk or whole milk. I don't know. Sometimes I like the flavor of oat milk more, okay? A year ago, I would have been a whole milk purist, but life is really short. <laughs> and I think having oat milk maybe once a week is not going to kill me. And then I also want to go to the thrift store and get picture frames to use so I can do my own, what in the heck, lady? You're like literally booking it across the street like a crazy person. Um, get some picture frames to make my own. I can't remember what they're, what they're called. For, for making your own paper. I want to use old egg cartons. Oh, I should also probably try to get a blender. Anyway. Um, you can make your own thing for making your own paper. I can't remember what it's called. I'm going to really have to Google that. I literally cannot remember. And then I need to go over to the uh, hardware store and get um, screen mesh uh, to make my own things. I, it's really gonna bug me not being able to remember what they're called. That's kind of a project I wanna do in the summer, but I have the time now and I have the motivation now, uh, so I'm going to do it. I painted my nails last night. I kinda did a, <laughs> I kinda did a, um, a patch, patch job because I had, wash my hands and done a ton of dishes at work so it was starting to chip and 
So they looked bad, and so then while in in a dimly lit room when we were watching Avatar: The Last Airbender, I the animated series, I was repainting, and it was <laughs> I couldn't see what I was doing, and then I was trying to like move around on the couch, and I kept touching things, and so then they just looked horrible this morning when I woke up, and I was like, all right, we're just gonna have to completely redo them, um, because yeah, this is what we're working with right now, and it's utterly terrible. So sporting the earrings that I made on Sunday afternoon. These ones have these silver hooks instead of gold hoops. And I, you know, I like gold, but I'm in kind of a silvery mood right now. I'm not going to lie. So I have, I just keep gravitating toward these. And I don't know if I like silver more than gold. It just depends on the day. Um, anywho, so yeah. It's been a really good day so far. I'm feeling very, very thankful. Yeah, it's always good to see my nieces and nephews. I really love them, like more than anything in the world. And so right now I'm, I'm at a place where I'm constantly thinking about the young people in my life, especially my nieces and nephews. And I just want to be the best aunt that I can be. And I want to just, I want them to be able to grow, be grown someday you know, maybe after I'm dead, and look back and say, like, she literally poured everything into us. Like, she did not hold anything back. She invested in us and changed our lives for the better. Um, because I want them to thrive, and I want them to succeed and be happy, and maybe not go through some of the things that I went through as a kid. Um, you know, we'll just have to see. Uh, if I can actually pull that off. I'm really going to have to be a self-sacrificial, humble person in order to impact their lives. And I struggle. Um, I just sat for like 10 minutes. I downloaded my Instagram to look at one video that my boss had sent uh, to the group chat at work. And I scrolled on Instagram Reels for like probably a good seven minutes before I even remembered why I downloaded the app again. And this is why I down, I delete the app like within like a day and a half of downloading it again because I am messed up everybody. I literally can't do it. I literally cannot resist <laughs> the short form content, the, I don't even know what you got. Like, I love the, it's like drugs. It's like just hit after hit after hit. Like, oh my gosh. And I get, I get to just, it, there's this weird control thing. I love it. <laughs> and I don't know why. I was not planning on saying all of that. I just went shopping <laughs> and I just shopped for some, uh, little things that I needed. I didn't buy a lot and I got most of it secondhand. So I just thought I would share with you what I got today. Um, I'm going to start out with this laptop backpack that I bought. I got it secondhand at this consignment store in um, the town I work in. The brand is Timbuktu. I don't know a dang thing about it, but I saw on the inside it says keeping junk out of the dump since 89. So makes me wonder if this is made from recycled materials but I have a laptop bag but it has a very weak and flimsy strap that has been it falls off <laughs> like you pick it up funny and it comes loose so I'm scared that I'm going to trash my laptop by using that and it just doesn't really it I don't know I think my mom bought it and she got it really cheap I don't know where it was from but this is sturdy and I think unless these straps are not good which I think they are I think it will last me a long while so at that same secondhand store I got a gift for my sister which I'm not gonna show though she doesn't watch my videos <laughs> as often as I would like her to oh it's the same brand that my Avi shirt is anyway here I got this for Danny. She loves and so I saw that shirt and I thought of her and I was like, I'll get that for her. I also have this, um, I got this Carhartt shirt. It's a giant Carhartt shirt that I'm going to crop after I wash it. It's navy blue. Go Carhartt. 
and it's got a little mark on it but I figured it would be a good workout shirt or sleep shirt I love big baggy shirts and it just seems like it's the vibe um, and now moving on to something I got at the hardware store aluminum screen for recycled paper making um, I got this because there's this woman I follow on YouTube. Her name is Hannah Lee Duggan. If you want more interesting videos to watch, I would go watch her videos. But she makes paper out of egg cartons and scrap paper. And I was like, I've wanted to do that for a long time. And I'd like to make my own. Um, let me see what this thing is called. I can't remember. This isn't too... I just dumped my water. So you make the mold and mold and mold and decal yourself. And with that, I come to my next item, which is what I'm going to use to make the mold and decal. Picture frames. I got these matching picture frames because you need to get them that are the same size. And what you do is you take all of this stuff out and you um, use a staple gun and you staple your screen and I also got um, masks for when I'm grinding down my seashells which by the way still wearing my beautiful seashells uh, that I seashell earrings that I made when you're grinding down seashell it releases something that you're not supposed to inhale so I did not do that when I made these suckers but when I'm doing it more long term and more pairs at a time, more shells at a time, I definitely don't want to be breathing that in. So, got that. And I should probably also get a pair of glasses because sometimes there's flex. And the last thing I got is six unscented pillar candles, which these are will be good for prepping or using in the winter time particularly because they're unscented so they're not gonna give me a massive headache and uh, they're thick, which means, oh, they're also unopened. I don't understand why people buy crap like this and then they completely get rid of it. They don't even open it, don't even try it. And then I get it for a couple bucks, but <laughs> I can't do this. Um, they will be good for prepping if the electricity goes out or gets shut off and uh, nice for the winter time when there's less sunlight and I maybe don't want to use electricity. So that was my little list of things that I purchased today. A couple articles of clothing, mostly things that I need and that is really important to me. If I'm going to shop, it needs to be for something that I need and I know I'm going to use even six months to a year and a half in the future so there's so much stuff that you can purchase secondhand that will have no difference in quality to something that you buy firsthand so if you can I want to encourage you to go try to buy something secondhand if if there's something that you feel like you really need, um, then go check out a thrift store or a consignment store or a secondhand store um, and just challenge yourself. Can I buy this secondhand? Is it going to ruin my life if I buy a secondhand? Am I going to think less of myself? And if you do think less of yourself or you think other people will, maybe do some inner searching and ask yourself why that is. Because in this economy, buying secondhand is probably your best best option. This economy is no joke. <sighs> anyway, now it's time to keep on editing. I have two videos that I need to be working on currently, but I haven't been. I've been doing a lot of filming, but no editing. So I literally need to stop. It's almost four o'clock. I'm going to edit. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening, hopefully, and get some work done. Thank you for watching.
but I'm gonna film some more and I'm gonna show you why. Um, I got a package and I love the fact that I have new shells to work with off Etsy from these wonderful women who live in Florida. These will be really good for necklaces and maybe I can find some other projects to do with them but they are definitely bigger than I was expecting. Follow along um, and subscribe if you want to know what I end up doing with these shells. I gotta figure it out because they are definitely too big for earrings. We shall have to see.